Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. Um, so I just got done uploading a video um, of an energetic update that did contain information about the Sri Yantra in it. I left out a portion of my message uh, because I didn't have complete understanding about it. Um, but it was spoken about a mission. Um, and I did mention rites of passage or rite of passage, I think, in my video. And um, I heard Egyptian and another word that I can't for, for anything within me transcribe. And so it's taken me some time until now I have asked for guidance understanding about what it is um, but I'm being told to go back to a um, the biblical or and the Egyptian um, baptism to find out what the Egyptian baptism is or what it means and yeah it is to be dunked within the water still the same kind of concept concept that is within the Bible and um, I did some research and I already know how I came in, into this because of divine love. There's something that is within, that has been found within the Great Pyramids. And I, I can't read this in their language, of course. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try though. Vazan si jirnani yatha vihaya navani krunati nero parani. That was my attempt. <laughs> it means, as a person puts on new garment, giving up the old ones, the soul's malaria accepts a new material body giving up the old and the useless ones. This is what they did during, or what they spoke during the mummification process. Um, because they believed um, that they were going to make the spirit comfortable upon ascension. Um, because I believe they believed in reincarnation. Now this is where I knew I heard something like this. I heard something like that. Um, and so I did some digging. It's in Ephesians um, 4, 24. And that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away of lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Um, this is what it means to be baptized. And this is what it means To receive our higher self when we are no longer that person who felt intense lacking pain poverty spoke ill words thought ill thoughts and felt ill feelings and acted 
upon everything that was in us. We are no longer that old self, lowercase s. And we are receiving through the baptism. And now, what happens energetically within? is that we all have been experiencing that intense heat, the buildup, that intense burning, the rise of the Holy Spirit within us. It gets that to that midway point where it tries to build more pressure. until it goes and moves and flows within our mind, our brain. And the water can pour. The water being the liquid that is now coming out of what all this activation is. It's, our, it's stemming from our Bindu chakra, but it's as a result of everything else that we have done and worked for. The activation of the, the pituitary, the penile gland, the Ark of the Covenant, allowing light to pour in and penetrate, the thalamus being um, exposed to more light, the left and the right side of our brains are being activated with light because we are not thinking in terms of limitation any longer. We are embedding love, embodying love. Yes, I am leading out a lot here, but the bottom line is, is that we have done a lot of work and we have hit through, passed over those blockages through ourselves, our lowercase s selves. where now the Holy Spirit is baptizing us with the holy water and filling our entire body with our new self. Um, I didn't understand this when I was given this a couple of days ago which meant that I had to go through a period of, and I don't want to say suffering, but as I always express to you that if you don't understand, you prolong your symptoms, or you repeat that cycle of that lesson that must still linger and linger, and if there's a symptom associated with it, the symptom is there to tell you that you haven't integrated, because you haven't understood this concept. And when you finally understand what it is, if it makes sense to you, when it resonates with you, and you can find peace and understanding with that concept, that's when you integrate what it is. You integrate that energy. And it becomes you. And you can move on to whatever is next. Whether or not you are at this stage, it doesn't matter. You can be. And this still pertains to where you currently are. Not what I was just mentioning about uh, the rite of passage or being baptized yet. You haven't hit this level, but understanding where you currently are brings you what is yours. And if you are complaining about what you're going through, you're not understanding it, which means you're going to stay within that pressing period. 
I can't stress this enough to change your thoughts and change your words about what you are going through. Ask for understanding instead of complaining. When you ask God, source, your higher self, your guides, whatever it is that you talk to and feel comfortable with for understanding, you will be guided to a post, to an inner knowingness, to a video that resonates with what you're going through. Like I said, I don't know how I stumbled upon this text. that was found in the Great Pyramid. I don't know. I can't remember. I googled something and yeah, it was the, the Sri Yantra. Which represents the higher dimensions I just read here. And this is something that when this after I received the Sri Yantra symbol, I heard this. <clears throat> I thought it was a clearing of the throat. It was a very deep sound that was similar to... <clears throat> <clears throat> but upon finding out more research, because sometimes what we perceive or what we can hear is a little blocked off. It was the sound of the universe, which is the sound of the crown chakra, which is associated, of course, with the higher dimensions when it comes down into your crown. And when you hear the sound of oh, it's kind of similar to a <clears throat> You hear that? It resembles, <clears throat> you know, that's why when I, I received Egyptian and then something, another word, the way that I am perceiving it and picking up that information becomes a little distorted. One, because I have not received my higher self. That divine connection gives you, lifts that veil of truly knowing. I haven't figured that other word out. But the own came quickly. Um, the I think you all know that the ohm is the sound of cosmic energy. It contains all the sounds within itself. It is the sound of light. Um, the Great Pyramids, and this is something, uh, was built by architects um, who understood the golden ratio. That is what the Sri Yantra represents. It's what Om represents. And um, <sighs> there's something I just remembered here, and I'm trying. To, I'm going to push pause to see if I can find it. Um, um, so let me go see. Okay, so I don't have what I am truly looking for, but I, I kind of do. And um, I made that video the other day about the word. And this again, it goes back still to being baptized. And the um, golden ratio here which is also about the Sri Yantra. 
which is also about the Om, which is about creation, which is about Christ. Christ is the Word. There is something, a verse in the Bible that I have heard from other people that we shouldn't change the word in the Bible. And if we do, great consequences will follow. Christ is the word. He himself, the light, is the word. When you forget about Christ, that light, you change. The Bible, you change yourself. Um, the breath sustains the harmony of the golden spiral. The source of all vibration is the Word of God. The Sri Yantra is the combination of the energies of both masculine and feminine. The Shiva and the Shakti of God and Christ. Of everything. Um, Oh. Um, okay, so I the golden ratio is associ also associated with the flower of life, so I may have put that in the spot of where I put the Sri Yantra, which of course still ties together. Um, which is our DNA um, and everything else that's in existence. Um, and so how does that pertain to us? Um, this pattern of nature can be seen inside many art forms and has a universally stimulating effect on the mind. Enlightenment may be a part of this pattern, a communication that connects consciousness through the language of the universe. Look at the soul as being a bridge between your mind and the intangible essence of your spirit. Gently guiding your mind through a doorway of transcendence to a higher plane of awareness. By bringing the flower of life to words and pictures, your consciousness can be encouraged to move toward a realization greater than itself. In other words, the golden spiral can spiral you to soul awakening. And the flower of life transcends itself from the physical mathematical form by which it is more commonly known as sacred geometry into a spiritual equivalent we call unconditional love. The little flower of life transforms into the pattern of love. Truth seekers, poets, and prophets everywhere teach love as being at the center of all things. When your soul connects consciousness with the golden spiral, you become love. Love is the infinite pattern of the universe. And so are you. Uh, this... From everything that I have learned 
is that when we embody love, it is, of course, when we connect with our higher self, we connect, and in that connection, we are connected to source, to the universe. Um, and it's brought into our heart center. Our heart, when first open, our heart chakra, when it is first open, is, is green. And it changes its color later on um, to match source. And um, when this is activated, you know, like I, I have spoken about the Merkaba and the 12 meridian lines that connect with your center being the 13th. You have those 12 points that your heart shines outward to. Okay, I'm so sorry. I had to push pause there as my husband came to see me. So I have lost my spot. Uh, what I was actually speaking about. Um, I think I was talking about the heart. And as I began to speak about this, or my husband was here, and uh, more information came in. The flower of life represents our unity with unconditional love. Because it becomes now everything. It becomes the universal's heart, the universal heart within us. And this is the embedded of the embodiment of the fifth dimensional heart within. This is about um, knowing God, knowing creation, knowing ourselves. Gosh, and I, I had something beautiful that came to me about it. Um, by the time I got up back upstairs, it was it's gone now. You can't have this heart without your divine connection. without knowing that the Word is Christ. The Word is light. The living Word is you, is God, is everything. Um, when we have this universal heart, this heart that is now able to love without conditions, we are better equipped to especially love ourselves. And that's what this is really about. Loving ourselves. For everything, everyone, every limit, every pain, every beautiful thing that we have ever known since the beginning of our time. Um... And okay, so I push pause again because 
more information came into my awareness. The Sri Yantra is tapping into it and I love to give you information based upon light body and or chakras and dimensions. The Sri Yantra is a part of the 11th dimension which um, allows us to tap into everything. But also the flower of life is again associated with the universal or unconditional love but it is um, connected with and cannot go without universal consciousness source himself and I may have already said that but that in itself is the 12th and 13th chakra combination um, So if you have been feeling that coolness, especially in your heart, you're taking in more. You're embodying this, or you are attempting to embody this now. Um, the crown is being highly stimulated. You are embodying the Sri Yantra. Universal consciousness. And in order, the importance of this universal love is again, to be able to accept ourselves for who we have been and who we are becoming. Becoming, that is a word that I, I received uh, yesterday, a phrase, I am becoming. I am becoming. To become means to embody the highest portion of something. To become something is to be greatness in all of its source. Now, now that you have this in your awareness, and I, I apologize for being all over the place today. I received all of this information a couple of days ago. But as a result of my need to be still, I am just now understanding it. Now that I understand it, things go into motion. Things begin to play out the way that they're supposed to. It's something that I, I wanted to add before I say goodbye for the day. I send you off with love for the day. So I have already felt this change in my life taking place. Um, I began to feel it about two weeks ago that something was changing. And it began to change in my reality first before my awareness kind of picked it up I or before I began to give what I was feeling any power um, my awareness had a sense I had a feeling that something was changing and I have felt this great change not just in losing my old self lowercase s and receiving my new self capital S. I felt a intense um, loss, but yes, yet an intense gain. But I, nothing, nothing can stay the same. Not everything can stay the same when we become true. But if you are at this point, you are better equipped. And you probably are feeling that within your emotional state right now this impartial kind of a sense 
it's so hard for me to put into words that I'm okay with the loss now and I'm, o I'm okay if things stay the same I'm okay if things change I am impartial I am not saying I haven't had any reactions to things I have it's been very small actually very very tiny compared to my old self I've noticed that change in myself where things aren't bothering me I mean, I am not picking up an emotional response. My mind might be thinking something, but there's no emotional response to it anymore. Because the divine soul and spirit is uniting with creation. And that we truly know that what is ours is ours. And what isn't, isn't. So I know, I have this sense that my world is kind of changing. And at first I was a little weary of wanting to think more on it because change can be hard. But I know through this change, a whole lot more is coming to me because I am receiving me. I am becoming me. And that's what I want. You have to be prepared to receive yourself. And that's the purpose of this growth of feeling those lower vibrational emotions that we have been feeling so that we can face the demons our limiting beliefs that we think that we have to have it this way but when you think you have to have it a certain way you forget that something better is coming I hope this helps and uh, if anything else comes to me I would definitely share with you um, the information be ready now because again I don't know how long of a period it's going to be before you actually know more receive who you are supposed to become I don't know that in terms of time frame because God's time is infinite and we have to learn in this process of becoming and in that learning process we shall be enjoy where you are and in this great enjoyment you shall become your higher self so much sooner. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.